I am declaring the United States of America's first war on crime. And I'd like to introduce one of our finest G-men, Agent Melvin Purvis. Agent Purvis will be in charge of the field office in Chicago, the center of the crime wave sweeping America. His task will be to get public enemy number one, John Dillinger. Say if you want. Mr. Purvis, how did you run down 40 boy Floyd? Oh, through an apple orchard. <laughs> People say John Dillinger is a lot smarter and a lot tougher. Well, nevertheless, we will get it. Well, what makes him so sure? We have two things Dillinger does not. What are they? The viewer's modern techniques of fighting crime scientifically, and the visionary leadership of our director, J. Edgar Hoover. He was uh, uh, very popular with his men. Um, he treated his men incredibly well. Uh, he was a very good leader. Um, he had a great vision. He had great integrity. Um, he was very capable of what he did. He, he had grown up hunting, um, coming from the country. Um, and he was able uh, 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 to uh, achieve extraordinary success at a very young age. Um, I think he just had an inner uh, integrity, which unfortunately he felt was compromised ultimately. Um, during his time in the Bureau and resulted in him uh, quitting. It's a wonderful experience working with Michael. He's a fascinating man and I think one of the finest filmmakers around. You know, he approaches every movie um, uh, uh, like an investigation. You know, he, he did make a great detective. Um, he, he has an encyclopedic knowledge of each and every uh, subject that he uh, tells a story about. Um, he's very thorough and incredibly articulate, you know, and uh, very satisfying to work with uh, such a man. Stop that car! You investigation. Stop that car. Stop. That, that was uh, that was enjoyable, you know. Uh, the uh, the guns uh, um, uh, were fairly were fairly uh, were fairly simple to uh, handle, you know. Um, and uh, uh, and Purvis was somebody who was very very capable with weapons.